Hey everybody, this is Perfect Storm 479 here to showcase to you this wizard tower that I've made. So let's get started with a 360 degree view from outside. There's three stories, middle one doesn't have any windows. This side of the wall doesn't have any windows either so I could put in the stairs and the roof tapers up so that can be a lot higher than otherwise. Now that we've seen it from the outside, let's actually go in to see what happens. This first floor is the wizard's office. It's basically designed to sell the idea of his wizardliness so that when people come inside, they will pay him money to do magic stuff. And it's filled with some general magic equipment. Over here we've got like alchemy stuff. There's some potions and enchanting here. And just some magical herbs to play with. There's also some fancy paintings and skulls on the wall just for decoration. The second floor is the wizard's private library. There's books on all sorts of kinds of magic here. And there's also an enchantment table fueled by this really big stack of them. Up here we have the wizard's apprentice who is very bad at it and incapable of getting out of this one place. Um, these ender eyes are just some magical devices. And there's a note block here to summon the allies, which if I knew how I would have had them restricted to this room and not following me around. Up here we've got the wizard's bedroom. Um, it's got a fancy carpet and bed just because this is a very rich wizard and he likes luxury. It's also got some general crafting blocks because the wizard has to make his stuff. And just a lectern for reading. Up here we've got the lookout room. There's a little raised platform here so you can see out better. It offers a really good view of the surrounding area and you can even see a neighboring village from here. Now there's one last thing, which if you had a keen eye, you would have noticed before, is actually a cellar. And this cellar has something really interesting to go going on. Right here, it is a wizard con a wither containment unit. This ch these chains and these soul plants are here to restrict the wither's movement and also to keep people from putting the skull on the wizard found the almost complete um, thing in some temple ruins and he brought it back here to study. All these crystals on the wall are limiters which will weaken the wizard, the wither's power if it's ever awakened. And up here we can see the wither tablets which prophesy about this thing rising up and destroying the world. So obviously this room is built to stop all that from happening. Even though it is very easy to just finish the dang thing and bring it to life. Now last but not least we've got Ferdinand here, the wizard's familiar. He just kind of wandered into the building while it was under construction and the wizard adopted him. Ah. So before we go I just want to talk about some notes. Originally I had planned for the basement to be a big multi-story thing with a bunch of dark magic laboratories hidden under the secret door. But when I had first built it, uh, one thing I realized I hadn't given myself enough, self enough space to build a jeb door or anything. And the other thing was that at that point I just kind of lost investment in the project. So I decided to leave it a while and just a few days ago I decided I ought to showcase what I have. And since the basement room was empty I decided that before I do I ought to fill it with something. And so that's how the wither room came about. I'm really proud of this because for one thing I actually finished this and that's a rarity. But it also looks nice too and I got a lot of good decorations in a small space. So. See you next time.